So first of all, I have to apologize for my voice. I have the flu, but <clears throat> I'll, I'll go forward. My name is Giuliano De Luca. I am uh, an independent technical architect. Here you can find all uh, references if you want to reach me out. Feel free. There is also my YouTube channel where you can find 128 videos now. I started uh, one year ago. Okay, let's move now with the, with the solution. So what I want to demonstrate today is how you can save user settings or preferences in, uh, in OneDrive. There is a special folder in OneDrive called Apps where you can store data. So this is a very common scenario when you when you deal, for example, with the, with the favorite dam. So you want to uh, make available um, the dark and light dam functionality on your application, or maybe you want to just store temporary secrets uh, or any other user preferences. So this is a very nice approach. Uh, what I'm going to demo here is a SharePoint framework solution. It's a web part, but of course, uh, using Microsoft Graph API, you can uh, use um, any other kind of um, web application that you can integrate in Microsoft 365. Now, as I said, uh, I'm going to, to save user settings in this special folder called apps in OneDrive. How we can do that? There is an endpoint in the Microsoft Graph API that you can consume, and this is an example. So you can um, put your app root, so you are referencing uh, the, the folder apps, then it's a good practice uh, define your folder in this in this folder so it's more easy to find your your data and then i what i'm going to do is create a json file with all my attributes and properties when you load your application first of all you have to load your data so you have to query the JSON file stored in in OneDrive, and you can uh, use this endpoint in order to to get the download URL. Why we have to do that? Because basically, it's a different domain, and in order to avoid course issues, you have to you have to have and you have to use and fetch um, another URL. In fact, when you when you get this download URL, we can see in the next slide, you get something like that. So you have this, this URL and, and then you have a temporary authentication. So this is a, a token, a valid token um, that you can use to download your, your content. In my case, um, what I'm going to show you is um, I'm going to save three properties, um, the TEM, the favorite TEM of my of the application, then um, a token, and finally a preference one. Okay, let's jump now on the demo. I have here my browser instance, and what I have here, this is uh, my uh, personal space on OneDrive. I'm going to now delete this folder just to show you how, how it works. So I'm going to click on the three dots and then delete. Now I'm going to uh, Microsoft Teams, I'm going to refresh the page. Okay, let's say in again. So I pin the, this SharePoint framework solution here in the left pane uh, as a personal app. It's called the cross device user data. And here we go, this is my, my application. And I have already some preferences. So I, I'm going to delete again this folder because previously I was not properly logged in. Now this uh, folder is removed. I can jump, for example, on Teams and then uh, Open again this app, and now I have this um, this form. This is very easy. I have just three 
properties here, as I said, I am I'm able to, to set my favorite theme of this app. I can just add um, a value here on this field. And then another one, this would be SPFX. Let me open the dev toolbar so we can see on the backstage um, the call. And then I'm going to click on save current user. So this is um, the call. And let me um, jump on the headers. We can see that uh, this is the payload of the request. I, I passed these uh, properties, which represents exactly uh, what I saved here. Now going on the on OneDrive and refreshing the page, I have this new folder just created. As I said before, uh, it's a good practice to create another folder. Now I am using the SharePoint framework, so then um, this is the app principle, SharePoint online client extensibility web application principle. And here we go. This is my, my folder that I just created. And then I have my file settings JSON. So we have seen in the demo before that Joao has used it exactly. I have seen in the code um, some minutes ago that um, Joao has used exactly this uh, kind of approach to keep track um, of uh, of notification. So as a, as we can see here, I have the 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 temp that I set, the, the token, and the preference one. Now I'm going to open this tool, which is very cool. It's called the Let's View, and it's very fantastic when you want to mirror your device. I'm going now to open the same application, the same personal app on my Android device. Here I have cross device user data. I'm going to open the same application, and as we can see, we have exactly um, the same app that show up with uh, the properties that I saved before. So I can, um, of course, uh, change value here. Let me add additional number or uh, let me type SharePoint and then save current user data. If I jump back here on OneDrive and if I refresh the page, normally the change happens in real time, but it's always good to refresh the page, and now we can see that the new values that I added in the on my Android device. Okay, let's jump to the code because uh, I see that we don't have a lot of time. So um, all we need to do here is just to define the the permission. The Microsoft Graph permission required our files read write, so this is what we have to specify in the package solution. Then let me jump in the core of the solution. I am here in the function component. And so what I have here, I have a bunch of um, user um, states. And so here I have a function get user data. And this is exactly the endpoint that I consume in order to get the download URL. Once I have the download URL, I can fetch this URL in order to get the, the JSON. Um, so then at the end, I have the, the temp, the token, and the preference one, and I can display this data in the form. When I have to save this data, I have to execute, um, I use it here, the Microsoft Graph Client Factory, the Microsoft Graph Client, which is included in the base library of SharePoint Framework. And there is this endpoint that you can use uh, by specifying content at the end. And then in the put method, you have just to specify your, your JSON. Once you have done that, you are able to, to save your um, JSON file in your OneDrive. So I would say this is a very nice approach um, to, to save user uh, settings, but also um, so I, I think uh, it's a very, uh, Joao has used a very clever approach in order to keep track of notification about users. So this is all I have to you for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for um, giving the chance to demonstrate this uh, sample. And so back to you guys. Awesome. Thank you very much.